uh, without wasting a time uh, let's move on to our topic which we have uh, chosen for today uh, you know this is in context of a series wherein we are we are discussing some important topics concerning indian polity or governance for that matter right and uh, uh, how to write effective essays on those burning topics which concern our indian polity okay as well as governance uh, last time we discussed about criminalization of politics and we discussed uh, you know uh, various pros and cons regarding the uh, you know uh, uh, regarding the efforts that we have made till date so as to so as to curtail the criminalization uh, criminalization of politics today we are moving on to a very important topic that is called as uniform civil code uh, everyone uh, must be aware of the fact that ki this issue has been debated in this country since long in fact uh, you know uh, right since the landmark judgment of the supreme court in shabano case of 1985 right this issue uh, you know uh, hogged the limelight when for the first time supreme court suggested right and uh, not directed but suggested right to the then government that it is high time that a uniform civil code must be enacted right so that the rights of the women particularly belonging to certain communities you know especially muslim and christian right their right must be protected right as they are protected uh, of other uh, communities like hindus you know wherein you know the uh, customary laws or personal laws have been uh, what do you call as uh, uh, has have been have been codified to a larger extent so uh, you know before do we delve into this issue isse pehle ki hum is issue ko detail mein discuss kare let me be bilingual first of all uh, let me introduce uh, first of all about the concept of uniform civil code what is unif uniform civil code uh, so that we can form our opinion to write an effective essay on this topic you must be aware of the fact that and it's a reality it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a reality and rather beauty of india that india is noted for its huge diversity right it is said that india is not only a nation of continental size but it is also noted for its huge diversity you know is desh ki itni diversity hai vividhata jisko hum kehte hain theek hai in this diversity right there are not only the people professing different religions but there are so many languages so many cultures and other practices you know which constitute the uniqueness of this country to a large extent to to some extent this diversity is definitely uh, you know good you know, for the nation because ultimately it allows people to practice their own you know uh, culture you know follow their own ethos follow their own practices right and uh, you know this reflects the kind of freedom they enjoy in this country right but beyond a certain point this certainly becomes problematic in the sense that when your practices agar hum religious practice ki baat kar rahe hain when it comes in conflict with the rights which are guaranteed by our constitution to everyone without any distinction tab problem aati hai isi context mein uniform civil code ki debate shuru hoti hai ki uniform civil code ek aise code ya aise law ki baat karta hai jo ki abhi bana nahi hai but aise law ki baat karta hai pehle main usko concept bata raha hu aapko aise law ki baat karta hai jo ki sabhi communities ko सभी रिलीजियस कम्युनिटीज को बीट हिंदूज बीट मुस्लिम्स बीट क्रिश्चियंस राइट सबको यूनिफाई कर देगा एक लॉ के अंदर ठीक है स्पेशली इन दोज मैटर्स जो कि अभी तक यूनिफॉर्म नहीं है दोज मैटर्स विच पर्टेन टू इनहेरिटेंस विच पर्टेन टू अडॉप्शन विच पर्टेन टू मैट्रीमोनियल राइट्स राइट सक्सेशन राइट इन मैटर्स में जब एक लॉ के अंदर हम सभी कम्युनिटीज को बांध देंगे तब हम एक यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड की तरफ मूव करेंगे अनफॉर्चुनेटली टुडे इवन आफ्टर 70 इयर्स ऑफ यू नो द कमेंसमेंट ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन राइट हम इस ऑब्जेक्टिव को अचीव नहीं कर सके हैं ऑल दो ए लैंडमार्क स्टेप हैज बिन टेकन यू नो विद रिगार्ड टू द कोडिफिकेशन ऑफ पर्सनल लॉज जिसको हम कस्टमरी लॉज या पर्सनल लॉज कहते हैं ऑफ हिंदूज यू नो बाई द एनेक्टमेंट ऑफ हिंदू मैरिज एक्ट बाई दैक्टमेंट हिंदू मैरिज एक्ट ऑफ नाइनटीन by the enactment of hindu succession act of 1960 uh, 1956 right wherein a uniformity has been ensured so far as hindus are concerned in these matters kaun se matters inheritance ke rights right adoption ke rights right as well as matrimonial rights like uh, you know uh, like divorce you know and uh, other matters other related matters but 
so far as other communities other religious communities you know are concerned like muslims and christians right they are still governed under their own what you call as irrational you can call them as irrational personal laws right ye abhi bhi un laws ke under govern hote hain right abhi tak koi uniformity nahi hai uniformity nahi hai aur ye personal laws bo unke religious texts se uh, you know interpretation karke banaye hain which prima facie jo agar hum unko on the face of it unko agar hum observe kare they are subtly right loaded against the women of these communities you know you women ke against hai although they give uh, you know they they perpetuate a kind of patriarchal mindset ye ek patriarchal mindset ko pro, uh, perpetuate karte hain thereby denying the basic human rights jo women ko in communities ki women ko bhi milne chahiye so far as inheritance is concerned so far so far as right matrimonial rights are concerned right inheritance rights are concerned right in you know communities ki jo women hain right unko ye rights nahi milte and here comes the debate of a uniform civil code uske bare mein aaj hum charcha karne wale hain theek hai right ab since it is an essay topic aur is essay topic mein aapko wo teen you know uh, you know uh, components ko aapne yaad rakhne hain ki aapki introduction achhi ho right it is better to start uh, the introduction of your essay with uh, a suitable quote right and then उसको आगे हम यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड को डिफाइन करें दूसरा स्टेप में ये होना चाहिए कि यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड क्या है ठीक है व्हाट इज दिस डिबेट ऑल अबाउट ये डिबेट किसके लिए है राइट right? फिर हमारा संविधान क्या कहता है यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड के बारे में कहां लिखा है कि यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड बनाने की कोशिश करेगी सरकार वो किधर लिखा है तीसरा ये पॉइंट आपके ऐसे में आना चाहिए फोर्थली आपको ये भी पता होना चाहिए कि यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड ये आपकी बॉडी में आना चाहिए ऐसे की कि यूनिफॉर्म सिविल सिविल कोड की नेसेसिटी क्या है क्यों बनाना चाहिए राइट right? क्यों बनना चाहिए इसका पीछे इसके पीछे क्या लॉजिक है क्या रैशनैलिटी uh, है ठीक है राइट right? फिर ये आपको पता होना चाहिए व्हाट व्हाई यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड